I have a question for Dr. Bowers. I want to get back to confirmation a little bit and talk about the angle of, his, of a horse's shoulder as it relates to their stride and what people might be able to see as far as a horse that covers ground and, and maybe what an A-frame is. The main thing on the shoulder is length. It's your scapula. The longer it is, the more chest room there is, and that's where the heart sits. So the, the rule of thumb is that you want the shoulder, you want that to be really long. Now it can sit upright or it can be angled or sloped. It is better if it's sloped. This is probably one of the most important angles you'll ever find on a horse. The more open it is, the better the stride, the, more, the, the further out that horse can reach. And that's what we want. And the more open it is, the bigger area there is for a heart and lungs, the driving force of a racehorse. You want this to be very long, you want this correspondingly to be very long, the humerus. How it comes out from the neck, it is better, again, if you have a slope to it. This horse is a little bit upright. And, and horses that are upright, like very upright, tend to have shorter strides. So that they're, they may be great in a short distance, you know, they, they take a million strides and they've got a big old fat butt and they're able to get across the finish line in a hurry, like quarter horses. But a thoroughbred that's running a little bit further and they have to really be able to maintain their speed to sustain it for a period of time, you want them to be able to cover a lot of ground in one stride as they stretch out so they don't fatigue. So the horse that can do that, stretch out further, he's covering more ground, he's taking less breath. A horse, when a horse is off the ground, they're not breathing. They're, that's kind of like their rest time or they're, or they're able to kind of relax a little bit. So that horse that covers a lot of ground and can get off the ground and relax a little bit and then go again, that's a horse that's gonna be the better racehorse. Confirmation standpoint, what do you look for in the rear end of the horse? And the other thing is, is there any relationship of length of legs? Okay, to get to the hindquarters, power. It's a driving force. It's what's gonna push you off. It's like an engine of a car. The, the bigger it is, the faster it's gonna go. So you definitely want, as you want that long shoulder, you want the long corresponding hip. The muscle, which this horse has a nice definition, Again, we're gonna stop him for one second and hope he doesn't mind my going back here. This definition here, the semimembranosus muscle, right through here, you want that to be you want that to be evident. You want to see that in a horse that's going to be running, you know, six furlongs up to a mile. Um, distance horses can be a little more forgiving with not having a lot of muscle there. Um, again, the longer that hip, the more open that angle, the more when a horse pushes down, the more driving force there is. Length of leg, you want the leg to kind of fit the horse. Again, a horse with a little short leg and a big, big body, he's gonna to have to work a lot harder than that horse that's longer leg. Scopier is a word we like to use, means a horse just covers a breadth of ground. Um, those horses are gonna get a better stride. So length of leg, again, is important. You know, longer is better than super short. I wanna make a little comment about owning, too, and, and, and getting involved. You know, I. I've been able to be involved with, with a, the claimer, the lowest level claimer, all the way up to the, to the Breeders' Cup horse. Winning is winning. And if you don't have a whole lot of money, but you've got a whole lot of friends, I mean, have partnerships that involve a lot of people so that your expense is a lot less, really, the, the thrill of that horse going across this finish line that you have a part of, it doesn't, it, you know, it really doesn't matter whether it's Breeders' Cup or, or the Fresno Fair. You're going to scream and yell and be so excited and get that picture. Um, and it's, it's pretty indescribable. It really is. Once again, on behalf of the Thurman Owners of California, I wanted to uh, thank you for attending. Please give a hand to John Martin and Dr. Bowers for spending time this morning.